And now we're going to talk about parallel lines. When we're grooming poodles in any trim, show trim, pet trim, competition trim, we have to remember it is a, an A-shape rear dog, which means when they properly stacked, their legs will go out like this into a letter A shape. That, it's an, a letter A shape. That is the biggest misconception out there for, for a lot of groomers. This does not mean that we need to scissor back legs into a bell-bottom shape. This means that two legs are going to make an A-letter shape when they are done and scissored, but each leg has to be parallel inside and outside line on the legs have to be parallel. Two parallel lines going this way, but not this way. And um, another very important part, when we're grooming a show poodle, we need to keep in mind that they are not just going to stand on the table. They're going to go down on the ground and move and gait. When poodle gates in, in uh, breed standard, we have to see the light between the legs when they move. In other words, when they move their back legs, when they run and gait, these two parts of the back legs should not be touching. They should be going like this without touching each other. So this is what we're going to try and achieve. I usually scissor the inside parallel line first on the back leg. So, I'm going to try to do that. If he stands for me, he's going to stand for me. Give him a good boy. Okay. I'm going to use <clears throat> the inside thigh muscle as my guideline. Take my curved shears. And try to scissor a straight line down, including the hawk, the side of the hawk. So you might not see uh, me actually doing this because I have to stand kind of in front of the camera, but um, I'm going to do it real quick and then explain to you how and what I use. So I'm going to use my curved shears, cross-cutting, going all the way down to the bottom of the cuff. And as you can see, now my line is straight into an A shape and it's going to be parallel to the outside. Normally, the inside of the back leg coat is much shorter than the outside coat on the back leg of a poodle. So this is exactly what we're getting at. This is how much hair we have on the inside, and this is how much hair we have on the outside right now. And I'm not really going to trim a lot of hair from the outside part of the leg because then we're going to be messing up with our body coat and parallel lines. So we're actually going to leave this pretty full outside. 